Hi, my name is Brian Mannix, and I'm running to become the first Fordist elected to Congress in United States history in 2022. Now, how am I going to do that? Well, first, let me tell you about the Ford Party and what we're all about. So there are six core tenets to the Ford Party. One is open primaries and ranked choice voting, where you get to rank your 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 candidates in order of preference and without basis on party. We're looking at a fact-based uh, government that makes its policies based on facts, not on ideology. We're looking at a human-centered economy where there's an American school court where we measure more than just GDP, but happiness and longevity and marriage and you know, infant death rates. We have a universal basic income, $1,300 a month, no strings attached, anyone 18 and over, and $343 for every child in America. 21st century government, a citizen portal where we can do everything in one spot, a digital bill of rights, which is more than necessary, and data as a property right. Uh, we also believe in using grace and tolerance. Love your neighbor, understand that we're different and embrace it. So that's the forward party. What is Brian Maddox gonna do any differently than the two institutional parties have done uh, for the last 40 years? Well, I'm looking to fulfill the needs, the top need of each one of the residents of my district. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go around and collect all of these needs. We're going to do it via social media. We're going to develop plans to implement in order to solve those needs one at a time. And how we're going to do it, we're going to do it with the Digital Natives Congressional Internship Program, or the DNCIP. Now, they'll take the needs, right? They'll take the needs and they'll categorize them, they'll collect them in real time. We're going to stream this with Google Glass and all our cameras. We have skill-based experts, right, all over the place, healthcare. Um, we have uh, housing issues. Um, at different colleges, people are dealing with jobs. They're dealing with mental health uh, and addiction services. We have heat and electricity people that, so if anything goes wrong in someone's house, like a boiler breaks, they can fix it. Some help doing taxes. We have all kinds of uh, tax uh, digital natives. Crime and prevention uh, <clears throat> has to do with more of the policy and local and regional business interests uh, within the digital native uh, uh, congressional internship program and transportation finally but after all that uh, we would want to forget that we have a tech squad uh, that basically monitors our entire digital infrastructure from websites to social media to seo to everything we also have digital ambassadors who bring the information from the dncip to the press the press unit sticks around with me for one week and they bring all the social media infrastructure to the national and local press we have culture keepers who holds a weekly podcast uh, to just have some fun, basically, within the campaign. And then finally, social media is what the Mannix for Congress campaign will own. TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Clubhouse, StationNet, YouTube, you name it, within Mannix Lab Congressional uh, Podcast. So we're using free labor. If people are getting great experiences across the country, young people who want to change this world. So what's my platform? Well, first, we're dealing with Mother Earth. We, we can't, none of the policies make any sense without Mother Earth being protected. So I'm calling for a Manhattan-like project called the Climate Change Carbon Challenge, where we bring a team of experts around the world to figure out how to remove the existing carbon from the atmosphere. Next up, criminal justice. We need to end privatized pr prisons, eliminate minimum sentencing, and change the role of the police officer to have a third of their time be committed to community service. Housing, everyone should have the right to a roof over their health, a roof over their head, and that needs to be in the Constitution, and if not, at least voted by the, the Congress. Voting rights, uh, most important thing, we have to have automated uh, uh, registration once you turn 18 and election day should certainly be a national holiday as well as using democracy dollars uh, to be able to con contribute to campaigns finally education uh we should have a federal right to education we don't currently uh 
and we should have changed the way we fund it and so that there are thir- certain basic things that everyone needs in today's world that they have a right to. One is a 20 to one student to teacher ratio. Second is a laptop. The second, a third is a smartphone, a Google mini, a Chromecast, and internet access at school uh, and teaching the skill of upstanding, which has been lost in our world. So that's my platform and that's how I believe we can win on election night in 2020. And Brian Maddox can become the first forwardist elected to the House in United States history. Open primaries, ranked choice voting, a human-centered economy, universal basic income, and 21st century government. You can say, okay, Google, talk to Brian Maddox for Congress and ask me any question I ha- any question that you have, whether you're Republican, whether you're Democrat, whether you're a unity party, constitution party, or, or just don't think voting matters at all. Please take this chance and take it on me. I don't wanna move left, I don't wanna move right. I wanna move first functional and then forward. Thank you and I ask for your vote.